if you give me school and farm, mm -hmm. I'll go into farming. <laughs> I got okay. 900 and, um, 954. And how many did you put inside? 2,200. 2000. Wow. Okay. I got 200 and 2,954. Uh, wow. You see, mm. I feed them well, but the truth is that those two catfish, mm. that bigger one that inside them, they, they are becoming bigger and I'm enjoying them. <laughs> like, wow, they are going bigger. Yes. Not knowing. They, they, were, they were finishing the... They were the one costing me. <laughs> all my fishes. Wow. For me. Mm. So, I learned a lot from that, 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 that point. Okay. And the truth is that Catfish business now is huge in Ghana, mm. and the buyers are more. Okay. Okay. All the 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 season that I have, mm. only one company come and pick all of them at a go and oh. pay you and walk away. Wow. Akwaba, me always and welcome to another episode. Uh, my name is Efo Selassie. If you're new on this channel, I share stories on entrepreneurship, on talent, and on tourism here in Africa. We are going straight into today's uh, video. We are doing a video on catfish farming, and I'm here with Mr. Billion Rain Farms. Yes. <laughs> if you haven't liked this video yet, please uh, consider liking the video. I, I can see Billion Rain Farms. Yes, yes, yes. Billion Rain yes, Farms. Uh, yes. Billion Rains. I, I'm not sure it's your it's your real name. That's my real name. That's your real name. Billion Rain Nyagbe. Courage Billion Rain Nyagbe. Yes. yes. So today we want to learn about catfish farming. I heard there's a lot of money in it. And your <laughs> name your name <laughs> your name tells it yeah. all. Yes, yes. Uh, it's true. Yes. But you see, if you want to go into it, you want to go into it. Okay. In the exception of getting money, that's wrong. That's wrong. Okay. okay. You have to have passion for it. Okay. That this is what I want to do. Okay. Okay. All right. Before you can do it, we we already have one point already. You don't have to go into it for money. I mean, money is part of it, but the passion is the first and foremost thing. But um, we want to go into it. We want to learn the ins and outs of it, the pros and cons, um, everything about fish farming. I'm a new farmer. I want to venture into that. I have my uh, money ready or my budget ready for fish farming what are the first things i should consider the first most important things i should consider as a catfish farmer okay the the most important you need to consider is um uh especially the environment that you are going to do the fishes okay, okay? Uh, we are blessed to get the opportunity to be doing something like this in a, a agri setters okay. okay where we have water okay to do and those are the most important things water water okay. number one is water okay. and the number one is your feeding your feeding okay okay all right water and feeding that's the most important things okay because we got the opportunity to get an earthen pond like this okay. which is good enough okay to do your fishes and all those things in the earthen pond okay. and i'm not saying that other ones like the tarpaulin and the concrete are not good okay. they are also good as well but I like the Ethan Pond because it's less stress okay. work. Okay. Less stress work for me. Okay. That's the main reason why I choose to do the Ethan Pond instead of the concrete or the tarpaulin ponds. Oh, okay. 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 Yes. All right. So um, the point I get here is we need good source of water. Yes. And then the feeding. That's the most important. The feeding. Yes. Now let's talk about the feeding. And then, or even before we talk about the feeding, let's talk about the catfish. Uh, which type should we consider buying? And how how should we look at it when we want to buy it? As in, what are the important things we should consider about the type of fish we want to buy before we buy it? Okay, are you talking about the, from the starting point, the fingerling stage, yeah, to the, the juvenile stage and co? Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, you see, uh, the fingerlings, Juvena and co, they are all okay. 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 All depend on what you want. Okay. okay. Someone have the money to buy the juvena. Okay. Somebody, someone have the money to buy the fingerlings. Mm. So all depend. So like and I said, sorry to cut you. Like I yes. said, we are new bees in this business. So okay. the fingerlings and the uh, okay. the juvenile. Okay. If you can just explain okay. So it to us. now you see, 
uh, the advice that I'll give to my colleagues out there is whoever wants to do into catfish is that yeah. you need a, 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 um, a juvenile, juvenile, okay, that you can take the two mm at and go straight. When so, we are putting it into the earthen pond, the tapoli pond, and the concrete pond, okay, you need something that can take two mm. Okay. So I might not give you a name, have a name of other the juvenile, whatsoever you want to go and buy out there, but okay. make sure mm. what you are buying, okay, you can take. Two mm feet. Two mm feet. Okay. Two mm feet. Okay. From the starting. Okay? okay. Because you are not doing the fingerlings yourself. Okay. So if you know you are going to come to read it, then please get something that can take two mm at a go, or something that can take three mm at a go. Two mm is what is two mm? The feet. The feet. Okay. Yes. Okay. We have the feet. Okay. We have 2 mm, we okay. have 3 mm, we have 4.5 mm, okay. we have 6 mm, we have 8 mm. Okay. 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 So, starting, you need 2 mm to start with. It means that you are going to the catfish business. So, in the fingerlings, in understanding, I'm trying to understand the fingerlings from a layman's point. The fingerlings are the babies. The, the babies. Small ones. Okay. And the juveniles. We have, we have fingerlings okay. and we have super fingerlings. Super finger, no. okay. fingerlings. Okay. Yes. You have fingerlings, we have super fingerlings. Okay. okay? Mm. Super fingerlings, you need something like 1.5 mm. mm to give them, which are very expensive. Okay. Okay? Okay. 1.5, 1.2 mm to give them, mm. which is very expensive. Which is about 750 Ghana CD wow. for that one. But you see, but the 2 mm, you can get something, mm. it depends on what you want, the type of 2 mm you wanted to use. Okay. Okay, it depends on the type of two mm you wanted to use. Mm -hmm. Because actually now I am using alakwa. Alakwa. Two mm. Okay. To do yeah. my starting of my 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 my, my fish, fish okay. which is the two mm alakwa that I'm using. Okay. So okay. the fingerlings are the baby. The super fingerlings are the super. They are super. They are a little bit bigger than the fingerlings. The fingerlings. Before you go to the juvenile. The juveniles. Juvenile oh. stage and go and go and go and go. Okay. So as a starter, if I don't want to take risk should i start with the fingerlings or i should start with the juveniles i don't want to take too much risk ah okay go with the juvenile i should go with the juveniles yes okay. go with the juvenile mm -hmm. okay so how long do they take and uh, to grow to a point where you can sell them with me six mm -hmm. months six months yes that's uh what are some of the practices you put in place to get them to grow well for the practices yes all is about the feet the feet okay okay mm. and in aquaculture there's nothing like management okay you don't manage okay oh today i have money to buy feed mm. tomorrow i don't want to so let me leave them now they'll go hungry uh catfish mm. they they are carnival mm -hmm. okay. if i mean carnival they can swallow each other mm. okay so one thing you need to know is that if you don't feed them and they are hungry, catfish mm -hmm. will feed on each other. Okay. Catfish, they will feed on okay. each other if they are hungry. Okay. So, when you put 5,000 fingerlings or juvenile in a pond, mm -hmm. you are not feeding them. By the end of the six months, you might get 1,000. Okay. Oh. <laughs> because they are hungry. And they'll eat each other. And they'll eat each other. Mm. But you see, it does not mean that if you feed them well, they might not feed on each other. But it's less. Okay. 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 It's okay. less. All right. So we are we are we are still understanding how how this uh, catfish uh, process works. So apart from the feeding, what other things do you do? Because I want to understand. Maybe I have done a lot of onion interviews, and I know they are you apply insecticide this 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 and that. Don't you do any other thing apart from feeding them to the point where they have to grow? Okay. Yeah. Um, with me, yeah. since I started catfish business, yeah. okay, I won't say that after I put the fish in the pond, mm. I give them some medicine okay. and other things. No. Mm. Uh, a lot of people said you can use uh, uh, bitter leaves. Bitter leaves, okay. okay. That is common for everybody mm. used to, you know, give put into their their ponds okay. that okay to prevent them from sickness and other things okay mm -hmm. yeah there are some of uh vitals how do you call like uh personally some of the medicine that you gave them like mm -hmm. 
miss them with their food mm -hmm. and give to them. Mm -hmm. But actually, I won't lie to you. I haven't done that for since I started this time. I've not done that because okay. I have not I changed my water constantly. Okay. So there's nothing like sickness inside my water that I said I'm putting something else into mm -hmm. the pond for 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 my mm -hmm. fishes to know. Okay. I, I was about to ask what, do you treat your water? But you said you change your water constantly. Yes. So how often do you change your water? Okay. You see, earthen pond like this. Yeah. You can put your fishes into the earthen pond. And six months, if you don't even change it, mm. it won't do anything. But the truth is that you reduce the growth of the fish. Okay. Your fishes won't die because the water, the earthen pond is dirty. No. Mm. But you see, the, you want, yes, the business you are doing. Yeah. So you need to get a growth, the result of what, why you are doing the, mm -hmm. the, 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 the farming. Mm -hmm. So if you don't change the water, you reduce the growth of okay. the fish. fish. Okay. But when you are changing the water for them, they go faster, mm -hmm. faster, faster. Mm -hmm. So somebody see this water, the water, this very water is very, very big. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. This is 90 by 90 feet. It looks very big. Very, very, very big. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that I change it. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. I change it. How, how do you change it? Yeah, there's yeah. an outlet. There's an outlet. Okay. Yes. Okay. There's an outlet in it. And if you want to change it, you just press it down. Mm. Then, so do you take the fishes out before you do the changes? No, or how do we you? don't take the fishes out before we do the mm. changes. It's a system. Okay. We put the net on the pipe, the outlet that we are going mm. to use to take the water out. So okay. when you push the outlet inside the, the water, mm. the water comes out by itself. Okay. Okay. Mm. Then the inlet is there. Okay. So if we want to flush the water, mm -hmm. we'll be taking some of the water out, mm. another one will be coming, coming in. in. Oh, okay. It means we are flushing the water, water. out. Okay. Okay. okay, but sometimes we we prefer taking the water down mm -hmm. halfway and top it up. Okay. okay, because this is big, so you cannot take all the water, water out. out before eating pond. Okay, yes, all right. That's the reason we use an eating pond. Okay, and um, the the tapulin pond is not something that bad. It's very very good because thousands of people in Ghana and across the world they are all using tapulin pond. But to me, I see tapulin pond is so much stress for me because. You need to clean the tarpaulin, making sure that all the time the tarpaulin is yes, neat. neat. Okay. It's clean. And you need to be changing the water mm. every three days. Every three days. Then to make it expensive. <laughs> wow. I, I won't say because mm. I am not in somebody's pocket, pocket out there. Yes. Mm, okay. Every three days, yeah. I'm not in somebody's pocket. Yeah. So I can't say that mm. uh, 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 it's too uh, expensive. expensive. Yeah. So, no. But to me, it's expensive for me. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll, I'll take it that one, that's one of the tricks to making sure that your fish grow healthy and strong. Very Changing healthy. Your water if you change the water constantly. Mm -hmm. Either being tarpaulin, either being concrete pond, okay. either being an earthen pond, mm -hmm. or you need to get the quality of your water that you're using to, mm -hmm. to rear your fishes. Okay. You need constant okay. water. Oh, okay. So that's why I said, mm -hmm. I'm just privileged to be... To be in the middle of water. Okay. Okay. okay? To be in the middle of water. All I can right. choose to change this water every two days if I want to. Because you are close to the dam. I'm close to the dam. Okay. I take it off. I open the canal. It enter. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now we've talked about the water. Let's talk about the feed. Okay. How often do you feed them? Okay. You in, know. Let's say in a week. Oh. <laughs> in a week. Yes. We feed them every day. There's every nothing day. like. A, a week. There's okay. nothing like a week. Okay. There's nothing like a week. Mm. Okay. From the juvenile, fingerling juvenile stage. To me, a month. Mm. Constantly a month. I feed them three times daily. Wow. Morning, mm. six o'clock. Afternoon, twelve o'clock. And six o'clock in the evening. Oh, okay. Three times daily. Daily. Okay. But after a month, I give them two times daily. Now, the feed. How expensive is it? How, how much, how much sacks do you need? for to feed them in a week or in a day or in a month mm. if you get one sack of feed how long does it last okay for you um let me use 2000 catfish okay to do the calculations okay. for you okay okay yeah. 2000 catfish yeah. you need 160 bucks 160 bucks yes for two people catfish. use 150 bucks okay people use 160 bucks okay but I use 160 bucks okay. to feed my fishes because I 
how I want my growth. Mm -hmm. Why I use the agricole? Yeah. That 160 bucks. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And this is because of your experience, and this is your own style of my own style yeah. of of taking care of my fishes. fishes. Every thousand fish, every thousand fish, you need two bucks in a month. Okay. Every thousand fish. Mm. That's the fingerling stage. Okay. Okay. Mm. Fingerling or juvenile stage in a month. So that means if you have five thousand and you need ten bucks throughout the six months, you should budget about. You budget because now that you are giving ten bucks mm -hmm. for five thousand fish in a month, mm -hmm. because now because they are they, they didn't grow that much, mm -hmm. that's why you are giving them that. So you mean calculate that if they are growing, okay, your second month that they are growing, mm -hmm. you need nothing less than twenty twenty five bucks wow. in the period of okay. that two months. Okay. So, so it's your like third month, teenagers at this point, so they need a lot of. They need a lot. So the more they are growing, mm -hmm. the more food you give them. You give them. Okay. So let's say two thousand bucks like this. Mm -hmm. A time will come, you give them a bag a day. Okay. That's the stage from one month, like the fifth month to the sixth. How, how much is a bag for? I, I know they have different brands of feet. Yes, we have different brands of feet. Mm. Okay. For now, I choose to use Alaqua. Alaqua. Okay. Why do you choose Alaqua? Um, the, their protein content is very good. Okay. And the quality of Alaqua is very, very, very good. Okay. I wish I have the money to use Alaqua throughout. Okay. But mm. <laughs> it's expensive, eh? it's expensive, okay. okay? Mm. But you see, it's worth it, okay? Okay, yeah. it's really, really worth it to use Alaqua mm. in your, 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 your stage of the fingerling stage mm -hmm. to at least a month. So, after, after the fingerling stage, and you want to change feed, which one, which brand do you, yes, do? after the fingerling, you see. From the fingerlings to the juvenile stage, yeah. you can use Alaqua, yeah. you can use Enapa, you can use Rana, okay. you can use any brand out there, okay. provided it's 2 mm. Okay. But I'm also looking out for the quality. Mm. The truth is that Alaqua is expensive than the other ones. The other ones, okay. okay? The other ones, some of them are 300, mm. 370, uh, 270. Okay. Okay? Yeah. It's 270, but I choose to use 4, 421. 420. Yeah, the difference is vast yes okay it's 270 mm -hmm. other brand are 270 mm -hmm. but i'm using for 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 420 okay. once and how many okay. fishes do you have uh so far this one we have here we have seven thousand seven thousand wow in it mm -hmm. the other one we have four thousand fishes 4, in it mm. okay we have four thousand we have seven thousand here that's a lot of money. Yeah, that's a lot of money. In feeding them. In feeding them. Yeah, but at the end of the day too. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, we, we've turned the interview around a little bit. I, we were supposed to know you, but you know, anything is a new style. So, yes. I want to know you a little bit more before we continue into mm, who okay. is uh, Billion Rains. Mm, I'm Courage, Billion Rain. Yeah. Nyagbe. Nyagbe. Okay. That's my full name. Okay. Yes. I'm a designer. Okay. A printer. I do printing as well. Okay. Yes. So that's what I do. Mm -hmm. So when I get money to do uh, uh, fish farming or any farming that I wanted to do in future, yeah. it's my little printing work that that I do okay. that gives me money mm -hmm. to do yeah. my, my 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 fish farm. So how did you get into fish farming? Ah, I just have the passion for it, and I wanted to do it, mm -hmm. and. Um, I watched other people their YouTube video mm. as well, mm. and it inspired me a lot. Okay. And I was like, if somebody like this can also do it, yeah, then I can also do it. Okay. That's how come I I I. So did anybody take you through it, or you just watch videos? I watch videos, and that's it. I watch videos from like when I'm in the house. Mm. I can watch catfish video mm -hmm. from from sometimes ten o'clock to even three a.m. I don't go to bed. Because yeah. I wanted to do it. So mm -hmm. I want to get understanding of yeah. how the business is. Okay. And so no one teach me like, let's say, the day I started. No, 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 mm -hmm. no, no, no. No one teaches me. But I watch the YouTube videos mm -hmm. from Nigeria, from Ghana. And mm -hmm. and uh, shout out to one of your colleagues. They call him Efum Hini. Efum Hini. Efum okay. Hini. I watch his video a lot. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's nice. I, I watch his video a lot and it really, really helps me. Oh, okay. So it was through a full, a full mini yeah, video full. that I started watching. I was like, oh, wow. Mm. Then, and he always encourages us. Okay. So 
Okay. With, with, that, with that being said, you see, YouTube is helping a lot of people to get into their various businesses, get entertained and everything. So, um, if you support us, if you support what I'm doing, just subscribe to the channel, like the video, and um, make sure to stick around to the end. We'll be bringing you a lot of information on catfish farming. My name is Efo Selassin, and I'm here with Billion Rains. So, Billion Rains, how long have you been in the catfish business? Oh, I'll say... Um a year or two now okay yes a year or two now mm. because i've done my other harvests already so oh. yeah so <laughs> so how, how was it how was your first harvest oh my first harvest i didn't see it uh, uh that rosary okay because let me say this um you see the more you learn you know yeah because um i know I don't know about the carnivores, about uh, mm. how catfish can eat each other. First, I don't know. Okay. So, on my first, uh, how do you call, uh, experiences, mm. my first farm that I did, I have two big catfish mm. in the pond already mm. before I bring the okay. other 2,200 and I added it to it. On my yes. first harvest, I got okay. 900 and, um, 954. And how many did you put inside? 2,200. 2, wow. Okay, I got 200, uh, 954. Wow, you see, mm. I feed them well, but the truth is that those two catfish, mm. that bigger one that inside them, they, they are becoming bigger and I'm enjoying them. <laughs> like, wow, they are going bigger. Yes, not knowing they, they, were, they were finishing, the... they were the one costing me <laughs> all my fishes. Wow, for me, mm. so I learned a lot from that, 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 that point. Okay, and subsequent one we're doing very good okay so now i know that if i see even one catfish mm. who is a little bit bigger mm. even if it's a juvenile i will not put uh, how do you call cut uh, uh finger lens no no no, okay. no 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 i won't do that okay so, the, so oh, you need something in uniform mm. if it is a uh, juvenile you are putting put juvenile okay don't put something that is bigger than juvenile in the same one okay if those ones are bigger than the remaining one, they will finish. Well, they will finish you. Okay. So get fishes that are uniform. Okay. If it is fingerlings, mm. fingerlings. If it's super fingerlings, super fingerlings. Mm. If it is juvenile, put juvenile. Okay. If it's post juvenile, put post juvenile. Okay. Don't go and buy juvenile mm. and put and go and buy post juvenile and come and add to it. Or put fingerlings and go and add post juvenile into it. Okay. The post juvenile will finish even if it's ten thousand you put in the pond. The post juvenile will finish okay. all of them. Oh, okay. Okay. It's not like someone has steal your fishes. No, nothing has happened. They eating each other. They eating each other. Okay. So now, even if you put five thousand, look, no matter how you feed them, well, don't expect five thousand fish yeah. along the line. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. No, it's some some will overpower some. But that does not mean that you shouldn't feed them well. Because yeah. you are feeding them well, that's the main reason why you are not getting a lot of them missing. Missing. Okay. So it's good to feed them well. Yes. And how do you harvest them? Because looking at this, I'm trying to put my mind to how <laughs> do I harvest, able to them? harvest them? Okay. Mm. You see, this pond like this, yeah. harvesting them is about twenty minutes. 20 minutes yes it's a very big pond a very big pond i'll gather all these fishes within less than 20 minutes oh really yes to to this place and how would you do that i cast net into it okay okay i have a net which is very very big mm. i cast it into it draw it down so all the fishes from wherever they are mm. Pull everything. We pull all out. Oh. Less than twenty minutes. Oh. We pull all out. Oh, okay. Yes. This we one. So we'll... I don't let the water go down. No, 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 no. I can mm. even top the water, no matter how. But all mm. of them will come we'll out. Come out. Okay. Yes. People harvest their eating pond fish by taking all the water out. Mm. No. Sometimes when a buyer is coming to buy the fish, it's uh, like a lot of stress because you mm. see mud on them mm. and all those kind of things. No, yeah. no, no, no. I don't like it that way. Okay. So I will not take the water out before harvesting them. Okay. So. I cast them. Uh, we are still on uh, the catfish farming with Mr. Billion Rings. If you have any comments, any questions that I haven't asked, you can put it in the comment section. We'll be coming back to speak to Mr. Billion Rings here in the Greek Irrigation Project, Ashaiman, uh, Accra, Ghana. Make sure to stick around, make sure to subscribe, like the 
video and then share your thoughts share your comments on catfish farming if you want to go into catfish farming please watch this video to the end so you said you've been in it for one year two years two years yes two years what are some of the challenges you faced as okay um i won't really say that i face a challenges because okay. The challenging that I will face is maybe when my fishes grow, mm. that I don't have anybody to buy right. it for me. Okay. That is why I said I, fast, I, I, I face challenges. Yes. Okay. The truth is that catfish business now is huge in Ghana. Mm. And the buyers are more. Okay. Okay. All the, the, the seasons that I have, mm. only one company come and pick all of them at a go and oh. pay you and walk away. Wow. So I didn't tell people that I'm selling catfish to come and buy it for me. No, 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 no. Half people around, more than ten, okay. who can come here and pick all these seven thousand fishes mm -hmm. and pay me and walk away. Oh, really? So it means the market is high. The market is high. Okay. The market is very, very, very high. Mm. Okay. So how much is? Um, let's go into money now. <laughs> <laughs> how much is a fish? If let's say, okay, let me take it from the fingerling point of view when uh, I'm, a, I'm an investor i want to go into the catfish farming how much is the fingerlings if i want to say i want to start with let's say a thousand fingerlings just for a start okay. how much should i be looking at okay um you'll be looking at for one is two cd 50 per square three cd 50 per square four cd okay it depends the the the, the hybrid the, the the type of fish they are giving to you okay so you can't really say uh, it's 2,500 mm. for 1,000 fishes okay. or so, so, and so, okay? okay? But the person should make his calculation that from 2 CD 50 pesos mm. to 3 CD, 4 CD, he can get the fingerlings or mm. juvenile stage okay. to put into his pond. So that's one. So you just multiplied by it. You just multiplied by it. The, the number some are 2 CD 50 pesos, yes. some are 3 CD, yes. some are 4 CD, okay. some are 5 CD okay. for one. For one. So mm. you want the type that you want to put in your pond. Mm. So you go buy those ones. Okay. But don't buy something that cannot eat two mm feed. Mm -hmm. If you are coming to rear them, because you are not doing fingerlings to sell. Okay. Okay. So there's a difference between you can do you can rear fingerlings and sell them as a business. Yes, as and a business. You can buy them and grow them and sell them as fish yes. for the market. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. There's a there's a there's a hatchery people do the hatchery okay that's their business that's their, okay okay mm. you are not doing hatcheries so mm -hmm. please mm. don't buy something that is too much tiny that you need to buy the feed that the hatcheries people used to give to the feed to come and put in your pond okay no tell that the, the one who's supplying you that mm. i want a fish that i can use a 2 mm okay. to feed them at the start okay. or a fish that i can use 3 mm mm. to feed them at the start okay i'll only be afraid when after my fishes grow, mm -hmm. then I don't have anybody to, to buy, buy it them. for me. Okay. That is where I'll be afraid. Okay. But my previous one that I have done, mm -hmm. only one person come and pick all. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay. Even some food, uh, the one who sells some of the food, mm -hmm. they also buy catfish from us. Okay. So they will, if you buy your fish from them, when your fishes grow, they come and pack all from you. That does not mean that those are the only people that buy the catfish. Mm -hmm. No. We have so much company who buy your fishes from you. Okay. No matter how the quantity is, you'll come and buy them. Okay. So, for instance, I want to target the this restaurant and this market women who buy them. How much, like you said, the one kilo, how much is the one kilo? Yes. One kilo now is 35. 35. Okay. Yes. One kilo is 35. Mm. One kilo is 35 now. And the prices change when the feed the feed price are going up. Okay. That's why you see that the prices are changing on the, mm. the, the fish market. Okay. Because all the, that we are doing is about the feed. Okay. Okay? It's about the feed. Mm. So when the feed price go up, we also increase our fishes. Okay. okay. But for now, it's 35 per kilo. If the person is buying like 100 kilo, 200 kilo, mm. 500 kilo, it's 35. Mm. And when the person is buying like 2,000, 5,000 and co, okay. you get to a 34 per kilo. Oh, okay. So, 2 kilo is 38 when you are buying more. 70 Ghana City for 2 kilo when you are buying less. Oh, okay. Yes, that's how the market is. But the market is good. The market we is have good. the buyers 
who wanted to come and buy. They beg us not like mm. to come and buy the fishes from you. Wow. Yeah. So let's just uh, what's the advice you give to young people who would want to go into fish farming or farming in general? What advice will you give to those people? I I I'll be glad yeah. if they will venture into farming because farming is good. Okay. Okay. It's really really good. As I said to me if you give me school and farm mm -hmm. i'll go into farming <laughs> that's a powerful okay. statement <laughs> i'll go into farming okay give me fifty thousand. Mm. since i should go to school i'll use to come and do farming <laughs> and it's good I, I won't lie to you okay. i'm enjoying doing what i'm doing <laughs> okay yes because i really want to do it mm -hmm. so i have the passion to do it so that's why you see me all the time here mm -hmm. taking care of my fish people from outside want to go in into farming they want to invest into the farming, either onion, catfish, whatever farming. They, they want to just go into farming here in Africa and Ghana. But the problem is with people who manage the farms. Are you open to partnerships or any form of investment? Yes, yes, yes. I'm open to, to partnership. I'm open to partnership.